All right, it's been four months in coming and it's finally here. Not the dog, wait for it. So if you've been watching my channel at all, you'll know that I have this thing called a front drive and it's an attachment that I hook onto my wheelchair and it turns my wheelchair into an e-bike. So it is an actual bike that I pedal, but it has electric assist and it also has a throttle. And uh, I've been really enjoying it. I mo mainly bought it so that I could get in and out of my house at home because my driveway is so steep. The only way I can come home is by driving into the, into the garage. So I bought this so that I could actually go for walks or wheel to get my groceries or whatever. Um, but I've only been able to use it from home because it's really heavy and I can't get it into my van. So I um, have had a company build me a cargo box for it. I've been waiting since early July. I ordered a box to put on the back of my van that I can carry my front drive around with me. That's my front drive down there. It doesn't look like I can zoom in on it. Well, anyways, you'll see more of it. So I ordered this in early July. It is now September 7th, and I still don't have it, but progress is being made because as you can see, my garage is empty. So they've had my van for, it's Saturday. They picked it up on Thursday. They're still working on it, but uh, hopefully it will be done either today or tomorrow. And then I'll be able to take off and go camping again. I'll be able to take my front drive with me. So excited about that. And I'll be able to just from here, from home, be able to take it and go to other trails other than just the trails that are near my place. So very excited, um, stay tuned. More to come, I hope. Unfortunately, things don't always go according to plan. And this box, which would have been amazing had it worked, um, was version one. It weighed 600 pounds. It was too heavy for the back of my van. It would have flopped around too much. And the opening to get the front drive inside was not large enough. And it was really awkward to try and get the front drive into the box. I was really excited about having a sealed box like that. I wanted everything to be protected from the weather when I was traveling and I wanted to be able to carry a few extra things in there, particularly a battery for charging the front drive when I'm not using it. But it just, we put a second <clears throat> hitch mount on there so that it was actually hooked to a hitch in two places and uh, it's still, it was too heavy. I would have never been able to manage this. Um, and then if I ever wanted to take it off the back of my van, it would have taken about four guys to get it off. I would never be able to do that myself. So this was version one and it didn't work. Another problem that we found with this one was that uh, I wanted the box to be able to swing away because as you've seen in a lot of my videos, I open the tailgate of my van and sit in the back of my van and try to enjoy the view. So I wanted the whole box to be able to swing away and this one did, but because it was 600 pounds, it would kind of fall off the rack that it was sitting on and uh, there's no way that I would have been able to lift that back up to get it back in place for travel. So that was another really big problem with it that we were never able to um, figure out how to resolve that. 
Now watch the tire looks like it wants to come back at you. Does it uh, hold itself or does it freewheel? So after three months of trial and error with this box, it didn't work and the company decided that they could not do it. It just was going to be too heavy and there was no way that it was going to be something that was easy for me to use. So big, huge disappointment and three months of a waste of time and I'm back at square one. On what I wanted, obviously it was going to be too heavy. So I had to do something a lot lighter. I was struggling with the emotions of feeling like was I ever going to be able to figure this out and was I ever going to be able to take my front drive with me um, anywhere. Uh, I got a sense of the freedom, like I just mentioned in the last clip, I got a sense of the freedom of being able to have that with me as I travel and I really like that and I really want to be able to do that. But I couldn't find anybody who was going to build this thing for me. Finally, I found a guy about 20 minutes from where I live, and he was able to build it. And so this is what he came up with. All right. It's been four months in coming, and it's finally here. Not the dog. Wait for it. my carrier for my front drive. Just got it put on today. Excuse me, you're not helping. <laughs> Get out of the way. Okay, back up. Okay, if I could move. <laughs> move here. <laughs> yep. And then you'll just have to hold the bike so it doesn't swing into the van too. Okay. Put this under. Push it. Yeah. The... And then just careful it doesn't swing into the van itself. Okay. You might have to get close and put a brake on. Almost have to swing it from up there. If you just push the bike in, it'll swing in pretty quick and easy. Okay. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah. Woo! It's just. <laughs> yeah, your van's on more of a tilt. Okay, I thought that was the down. Oh, it has to go all the way up and then? Nope. Other way. Oh, You're I'm just holding, holding the remote. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Yep. Let's tuck that in there. And... And then either you'll have to let this down more or you can just pull this red knob out. So this is the easy way. You just turn that, that free spools, so oh. then it'll just move on its own. Okay. And it'll have to be a little. So down is down. Yep. Yeah. Am I doing the right one? Yep. Yeah. I don't see anything moving. It's going, it's just a oh, little I slow. See it. Yeah. yeah. Until it stops. Yeah. Yeah, it'll self stop too. So that's loose enough that when it starts to pull down. Yeah, and the red knob's been pulled out, so it'll even if it goes tight, it'll just move on its own. It's gonna pull that so yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. 
Oh, there's the pin. Sorry, I forgot about the pin. Oh, okay. So there's two there. What do they? The bottom one you don't necessarily have to use. Okay. So there's a clip in the back that. It just kind of takes a little bit of load off this, but okay. I don't think it's actually needed. That was just kind of the original design without these. Okay. And but then this. That has one's the to, pivot. It does. That okay. one stays. Always. Always. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, now it'll pivot down. At this point, you want to swing this one oh, that over that way. But you're gonna kind of go over top of your lines, but. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Oh, around the string, too. Okay. Yeah, just like that. That's it. That's it. And then I gotta tie it down somehow. Yep. Okay, perfect. So. As you can tell by the smile on my face, I'm really happy that this is finally uh, to a point that I can actually use it. There's still some work that has to be done. I really want it to be sort of weatherproof for traveling. Um, I don't want the dirt, the road grime to come up and jam my gears and everything. And so I'm having a tarp built for it. I've been to a company that is going to design something for me so that it will be weatherproof as I travel. Um, I also need to be able to lock it, which I'm just gonna do with a bike lock and padlock it to the carrier. And the carrier is actually locked um, through the trailer hitch onto the back of my van. So the trailer hitch would be harder to steal and the bike would be pretty hard to steal. Well, whatever, it's all relative, right? But I'm doing my best to hopefully keep this thing and not not um, have any problems when I'm traveling. So anyways, like I said, I'm very excited. Uh, finally, after four months, I have my carrier and I'm really happy.